Uh, where I'm from, niggas will sell your mom crack I just spent half a million on this Ria, we ain't running out of packs Left jail, told all them niggas I ain't coming back Then went straight to the kitchen, whipped up a hundred racks uh, You ready for the tour, Prezi? I was born ready Bitch, I'm always high, every day's at 420 I'm just, tr I'm just trying to get my money straight on this M way Wait on me like I'm running late uh, I ain't boxing, but I'm Dylan White I ain't replying to these clowns online, but it's still on sight these niggas probably rolling around with nangs. This shit I got could go through a tank, huh? That's, that's, that's my gun, not an erection. And if I pull it out, you'll be running like an election. Whoever said What's up, guys, and welcome to today's video. I hope everybody is well. I will be making two very important changes into my weekly routine. The first one, I'll be doing at least one hit session per week. So I need to look after the old heart. And I want to improve my cardiovascular endurance because my fitness is really quite shocking. Second of all, even more importantly, I need to work on my mobility because it really has got to a point now after 12 years of training and doing no stretching, the absolute bare minimum, I'm starting to pay the price. My range of motion is limited. My body is full of imbalances. I'm extremely tight. I can't do a lot of basic movements. And literally when I try and do a squat, it's like trying to open and close a broken deck chair. It's just not good. So I have teamed up with a guy called Adam Trojanovsky, who is a mobility coach and he's going to help guide me and coach me on my brand new journey to becoming more flexible, more mobile, and more functional. The first session begins today. Another thing what I'm looking for if the pelvis is position is right. Eh? So lift your heads up like this, okay? I'm gonna check, so this is the bones in here, eh? what do we have, eh? here and here. See, so we have one, one, one area, other area. Eh? So we in naturally, you can see that from here, where is my fingers here, yeah? So this bone in here should be a little bit below than the one on the back. Yes, when you correct now. So, should we... so you're naturally standing in posterior pelvic shift. Mm -hmm. yeah? So that creates tension to the back. Whenever you, you're walking, then you're walking, bam, 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 and you're putting pressure on the back. When so, so, yeah. so that's why... Posterior pelvic shift. Yeah, so it's, anterior anterior. Pelvic, so it's anterior pelvic shift and posterior pelvic shift. Yeah. Most of the people nowadays, They're like that, not right? active people, yeah. The they are more like this, yeah. 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 Like with the, <laughs> those the position answer, fun, yeah. Most women yeah. on this. Most of ladies, yeah, they <laughs> go like this, and you see the butt, you know, but mostly because they were working too much with the, this extension, putting lower uh, on the lower back pressure tension, yeah, here. When you were doing like this, boom, yeah, and dropping. Yeah. And this is very dangerous, yeah, another thing. But in here is another problem, that you hear, you have, the pelvis is rotated to the back. Yeah, so it's posterior pelvic shift, and you, you see this how this is tight. So this is super tense in here. Yeah. Is, is, there, when I, is there a reason why I yeah. have really overdeveloped spinal erectors? Yeah. Is that from tightness? From, from this tightness, yeah. And I'm positioning of your pelvis, and then you're walking wrong, yeah, as well. This restriction, what I told you, yeah. This is the neutral, yeah. In, extending here. This, this should be straight in. Yes. And this is better because you should have a lot of this in here. Slightly lower doses should be here, not over low doses. We don't talk about this, yeah? We talk about the neutral spine position. Because you have low doses here, then you should have a kyphosis and low doses again, yeah? Then your upper body, yeah? You see this? Yeah. That, that's lead to the injury, yeah? Hold on. This, you see, he create from wrong position lifting weights, yeah? He create this over tension here. So you see how this is bulk up, yeah? yeah. This, yeah, and it's pressing on the disc, yeah, in that area. Do for me the deadlift, so you do a hip hinge, yeah. The hip hinge should go like this, down, and then bam, yeah. And then you go low, 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 bam, yeah. And you see, you show me here, yeah, down, 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 down. And you see what is happening yeah, yeah, here, yeah. and then bam. That's, that's the, the, the common disc injury, yeah. So Spring. that explains it. Yeah. Everyone thinks, oh, it's just yeah. from doing deadlifts and you're no. really no. strong. You see, I do deadlifts as well, a lot, yeah? Yeah. And why I don't have this? Yeah. So that was interesting. Just 10 minutes into the session and he already figured out the cause of the massive lump of muscle that was placed at the bottom of my spine. Another two hours of this and we figured out there was a whole host of problems with my body, it's limitations, imbalances and so on. And as unpleasant and uncomfortable as the session was, after two hours he was able to open me up a little bit and make me a little bit more mobile just by working on one shoulder for 15 minutes he was able to increase the range of motion. So what I'll be doing is I'll be doing a couple of sessions with him per week, two hours each, and I'll be doing my own homework on top of that, and I'll be documenting the entire journey, and I'll be doing separate videos on this in the future. So the other day, I was at Train Beach Club, I ended up getting into a conversation 
with a couple of strangers, which is very easily done at a place like this. Anyway, 10 minutes into the conversation with these two guys from the UK, I didn't realize, but one of them had a prosthetic leg, so half his leg was missing. And we got talking about how that came to be. And honestly, the story is so sad. Like I genuinely felt for the guy, like I was speechless, man. So he was telling me how he's still going to the gym, still trying to do his best. Uh, but he's obviously got his limitations, particularly when it comes to leg training. So I said to him, look, I, I'm not an expert at this. Uh, yes, I have a personal trainer. I've been doing it for years, but I'm not exactly a pro at training people with disabilities or somebody with a prosthetic leg. But I really wanted to help the guy out because I want to kind of show him that there is still hope and there's still things which he can do to help uh, build his legs. So I'm back here at Train Beach Club and I'm going to take him through a leg session and see what we can do. What's the biggest, like the biggest fuck up that's happened in the gym when you've been doing um, So I was doing the quad curls. With well, the, the, the leg yeah, extension, yeah. And then, um, so it, it's meant to stay on, right? <laughs> it's not meant to come off. And um, you know, as you're pressing, it's pulling more and more as you're adding yeah, yeah. weight. And you're trying to go ahead, you know? And um, my legs just come off, to be honest. It's just <laughs> flowing off. I mean, my prosthesis should never know that. It's because oh, I shouldn't People be like, doing it. Like But it's, it's, it's a thing that happens where um, a lot of amputees who've been through trauma, they forget that they, did, that they lost their legs. So initially when it happened to me, um, I forgot that I'd, I'd lost the leg. So I'll just come off the bed and one time it happened and I slammed straight onto the floor. And it's like, it happens, it's, it's a common thing for people, for people to forget that they have an um, amputation, especially when it's trauma. Yeah. Um, it's a serious business. How are you feeling? I can't express with words how destroyed I am right now. But everything's fired up and I think that's why we're here. And I mean, it's amazing. It's good. How does that compare to other leg workouts you've done? I think this one definitely targets all the right muscle groups. Yeah. The slow and mind muscle memory that you've got to achieve has been like yeah. significant. I think that I can take it forward into my workouts as well. Big up to Mugtar for pushing himself during that session. That was not easy at all. And you know what? The entire time I was actually massively inspired. I don't normally get inspired by other people when I'm training with them, but that was very inspiring indeed. You know, he could very easily stay at home, complain, feel sorry for himself and give up on his fitness dreams. But now, despite everything that's going against him, he's still going to the gym and getting it done. And it's very, very impressive to see. So Mugtar, if you're watching this, you are an inspiration, my man. You are a motivation. I'm very proud of you. I'm very glad to have met you. Go show him some love on his Instagram page and hopefully I will see you again soon, brother. Okay, so we're out here at Longevity Sports. This wasn't my idea, this was Louis's idea. He wants to introduce me to the ice bath experience, the old Wim Hof vibes. Wim Hof method. Let's go. Who would have thought we could do the Wim Hof method in Dubai? We've got a couple of punch pools here. We've got 10 degrees and then we've got five degrees. I'm making Mike go all in because what's the point of coming here, paying the money if he's gonna do 10 degrees? It's like a nice warm bath for me. The last time I did this was when I did that army challenge in Madness Fitness where I was swimming in a freezing cold pond and that was absolutely disgusting. I thought I was gonna die. My body stopped moving and I had to climb out. Yeah, I actually thought he was gonna die, so I was starting to get very concerned. Yeah, so can't wait to feel that experience again. What, what's the minimum time you're gonna try and do? Say it now so everyone knows. I, could, I have to do five minutes. Five minutes? Yeah. Okay, I think you can do it five minutes. Oh! It's like literally burnt my foot. <laughs> 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 Feels good. Feels really good. It's cold on the old tootsies though. 
Oh. Control your breathing. I'm trying. Oh. <laughs> I can't breathe. Why well, can't breathe? Yeah, it's a weird. Oh. Right. Oh, I'm getting Let your body adjust to the cold. <laughs> it's still fighting the cold. Is he struggling? <laughs> <laughs> like you made it look easy. <laughs> oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Did you just put the bubbles on my back? That's the water. <laughs> it's like the worst jacuzzi ever. Yeah. Why is it now? <laughs> when I when I move less, it's better. And when you yeah, when I first got in, I couldn't breathe. Your like, reaction? I could not breathe. Your reaction to it made me like not want to do it even more. By the way, she works here, and she's never been in the coldest one. I haven't been at 5 degrees, but I've tried. And How far did you get? I, did, I tried just my legs, and it's really uh, difficult for me. I think you have to be good at dealing with discomfort, because mm -hmm. when I got in here, I was extremely uncomfortable. But I'm getting used to it a little bit now. What did you just do then? I just opened the drain. Okay. So the water is coming in, as well as it's draining as well. But once you feel comfortable, it will be easier, you know? You're doing it after me. No. Yes, you are. I don't have any clothes with me. That's right, you're mine. naked. <laughs> I have a spare towel. <laughs> <laughs> What's the longest someone's been in here for? 36 minutes. Oh. Yeah, I'm not doing that today. <laughs> Who's that? Wim. Uh. Coming out, Mike? Yep. I can't, I can't move my body. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? What? <laughs> 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 you feel like a really old man, don't you? Lift your arms. You have this man as well. Oh. Yeah, you're getting down. It's like I've got the worst dumps all over my body. I can't. Really? <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ice bath complete. Uncle Mike, first time ever, did 12 minutes, which Ooh. is pretty insane for a beginner. I don't think many people have done that before. I did 20 minutes, and now we're both covered in goosebumps and are gonna struggle for the next four hours to get warm again. Yeah, I um, can't stop shaking. But a natural high will soon occur, and you'll be on top of the world, and we'll be walking around. Where are we going? Global Village. Global Village, eating treats from all over the world very soon. And you're going on scary rides. No, I'm not going on any rides. <laughs> yes, you are. So much stuff you can buy. So much pointless stuff. This is only in Yemen. No, it's in Yemen. Oh, is it not? This is Iran. Oh. We're in Iran right now. Does it feel like Iran? Dunno. Never been to Iran before, so I can't say, oh yeah, this is like proper Iranian this. How would you even get that home? I'm trying to figure out like how do people come into Global Village to buy carpets? How much is this one? Uh, I don't know, I just don't think I really need a massive carpet right now. How do you even walk around with a massive carpet? Oh, this, this is definitely large. So, I'm quite full now. I'm just eating loads of random little things. This place is definitely more food oriented than amusement oriented. There's like a couple of rides in one corner, the rest is just food from different nations around the world. <laughs> and that is Global Village. What a tremendous time we've had this evening. Had lots of amazing food, 
I think that my favorite one is definitely India. India, because yeah. we had pani puri, we had masala chai. We had lots of panani puri. Was pani like, puri. Pani puri, yeah. It was amazing. <laughs> so yeah, if you ever come to Dubai, check it out. It's really nice. Come on an empty stomach because, yeah, there's so many a lot things of to food. eat. There's a lot of food. And then don't go on the rides after you've eaten because you're going to see the food again. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.